Hello students. Today we will discuss about microorganisms today life that means in daily life we are utilizing that microorganism. You know that uses of microorganism that uses of microorganism is continue video this session. See in daily life that means what each and every day human being utilizing microorganism we are utilizing that's only now study see the where utilizing means making bread making of bread making of bread yeast is used in bakeries here used in yeast yeast is a single cell fungi this is a single cell fungi adu oru cell uyiri yeast endu oru cell uyiri adu vandu oru poonjai vagaiye sendathu that is fun see that yeast utilizing in bakery industries which industries bakery industries why they are want to utilize that yeast because of nowadays we eating in cake and bread is or no cake and bread they are during that cake and bread preparation time they are utilizing in yeast that's a reason that bread and cake they are having in smoothness the yeast is not adding that means that cake and fungi is not present in smoothness whenever you eat that bread or cake you see that having very soft very softly the present the responsibility this fungi that means yeast and then the hair harder to the tough to produce carbon dioxide this is harder to be produced in carbon dioxide which make the tough rice bread and cake are soft due to carbon dioxide it is will be formed in carbon dioxide that is this one co2 otherwise you want to know the full form means c for carbon o for oxygen they are present in two so the carbon dioxide this this carbon dioxide is the responsibility of the that smoothness the responsibility of smoothness where to getting from this carbon dioxide getting from it yeast and then due to the carbon dioxide that present in gas see chlorella and another one chlorella another one chlorella that is green algae this is green algae why this called green algae because of this present in green color or uh, this chlorella appear in green color the green color appearing means the main responsibility the presence of the green pigment so the green pigment are present that appear in green color so this is called in green algae and then is rich in protein and vitamins is added to the tough which enrich the bread with nutrient so the in daily life in first one making a bread that utilizes in yeast and then yeast will be put in the carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide that utilizing that purpose the presence of the bread and cake the present in smoothness and then another one chlorella chlorella is called in green algae and next one preparation of curd and cottage cheese preparation preparation of curd and cottage cheese see the preparation means what what to prepare what to prepare the lactose in the milk gets the milk itself the present in lactose which one the present lactose the lactose is a sugar that is a sugar mixture a sugar compound the lactose is a sugar compound see the lactose in the milk get turned into lactic acid this lactose present in the, the milk this get turn is converted to the lactic acid which one lactic acid 
lactic acid by the action of lactobacillus so that which bacteria they are utilizing lactobacillus this action this action by lactobacillus this is lactobacillus lactobacillus is the main responsibility of the bacteria the milk is converted to the curd and milk become the thick the curd means what that, that having a thick before that that milk is not present in thick that will appear the thick thickness means that main responsibility of the actions then responsibility lactobacillus that means the lactose that get turned into the lactic acid that action by the action of lactobacillus so that means will produce in thick curd that is when your curd is proceed cottage cheese paneer is applying it that is the cottage cheese is called that is paneer that is paneer and then in human industry and next one human industry human industry in itself also they are having in some microbes that microbes also they are involved in some useful function what that which microbes are present in human body what that main function they are involved in human industry human industry see the human industry itself the present the lactobacillus acidophilus lactobacillus acidophilus which one the present lacto lactobacillus and acidophilus acidophilus see that lives this that lives the lactobacillus acidophilus that lives in the human intestine help in digestion of the food and fight against harmful disease causing organism what is the main function of the lactobacillus acidophilus means that digest the food particles the what are the particles what do you think you are taking the inside of our body that particles want to synthesis without synthesis means it's not possible you get energy because of the human being getting energy from that food particles only so that particles want to synthesis means they utilize in lactobacillus acidophilus at the same time not only that functions at the same time they are involved in one more function so what that function means that is against harmful disease that means fight fight against against harmful harmful disease and maybe harmful disease will affect it harmful disease will affect it means that time will fight this lactobacillus acidophilus and next one e coli next one which one e coli escherichia coli this is the present in industry human industry what is that function means that help of the synthesis vitamin k and vitamin b the responsibility of the vitamin k and vitamin b b for vitamin b for vitamin vitamin k and vitamin b synthesis with the help of the e coli bacteria this is a uses and next we'll discuss about harmful effect what are the harmful effects harmful effects means what that maybe the presence of the microbes that microbes their responsibility will affect the disease or cast you agents see harmful microorganisms that itself the having microorganisms 
See, a few how microorganism are harmful to human, animal, and plant. Few microorganism harmful to human and plant and animal. Human also they are affected in so many diseases. They are with the responsibility of the microbes. Plant also they are affected in so many diseases. Animals also they are affected in so many diseases. That disease the responsibility some microbes. What are that microbes? That microbes microbes they are involved in harmful effect. That only we'll discuss about in this content. See, and hence they are called as pathogen. Maybe. This human and plant animal may be the affected in some disease means that responsibility of the microbes is called in pathogen. The responsibility of the microbes is called pathogen. That is called pathogen. That is called pathogen. And then the pathogen enter into the body through cuts and food. Cuts. This pathogen through enter in our body cuts and wound. Kaya angle and body pull. Sir, sir, kaya angle na masolro liya. And then natural opening that place that day we enter the inside of our body. And then see the presence of that microbes. Maybe that microbes cuts and put into the skin and mouth or nose and causes disease. They enter in inside of the skin. And mouth. Skin and mouth. See that cuts a pathogen that enter in our body, cuts and wound. The two ways that enter the inside of the skin and mouth and nose and nose that the enter causes a some disease various virus causing in flu are spread through hair virus causing flu the virus virus cause flu through hair so cotton mulamaga parava kudiya noigal Cartoon Mulama, Paro Kudia, no eagle, Abdin Sudo in virus. And then when the patient sends dropful, that means any one microbes or microorganism responsibility, that disease will affect that persons, that persons will release some sneezing. That during the sneezing time, laughing time, talking time, that time will release the salivary particles. That is the dropples. That through that way also the spreader, the disease one person to another person or one place to another place will spread out that disease and then the girls enter into the another person when the breathing let us suddenly when the breathing means the through the hair hair itself that mingle that virus that hair again any other persons will inhaling inhale means what you take in the inside of our body that time will enter in inside of that virus so the new persons will affect through this virus because of that virus already present in hair and then let us the study about some of the disease caused by the microorganism in human animal and plant let us study about some disease the responsibility of the microorganisms in plant and human and animal see this one you study means the before that you are having in textbook means just you take and see because of they are given in some names what are the disease the spreaded in microorganism which have microorganism responsibility of the disease in plant and animal and human being how the disease will spread it from one person to another person or how the disease will spread it one place to another place like that they are given in some table column some specific where disease they are given that if you have the textbook means you take and see you easily understood that because of that already briefly they are classified they are given in that table column now I will read that disease. What are the disease they are given? What are the responsibility of the costume? Hagent they are present. I will read that. Just you go through your text. See, the first one, the disease caused by microorganism in human. 
the first one disease caused by microorganism in human here is not given in all disease some major disease only will give and what are the disease they are given in six disease tuberculosis cholera common cold rabies and amoebaic dysentery and malaria that is the human being this disease are affected in human being this human being disease is not affected to the plant or animal so the plant disease does not affect the animal animal disease does not affect in plant see the first they are given in human disease in tuberculosis what is that cast your organism mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis that is the bacteria this one want to write your body itself means you are taking in more time that's why i am not written this this you are having your textbook means just you take and go through you easily understood this just now i am reading and explaining this page number in 79 in your science book 79 see the first one tuberculosis that is the caused to have a microorganism mycobacterium tuberculosis that is the bacteria mode of transmission mode of transmission means how the disease has spread from one person to another person which is the cast you agent here the through hair and septum of in affected person through hair that means the tuberculosis affected persons may be present in any one person in very closely or very nearly means that during that that person is talking or the sneezing or laughing that time will the release in salivary particles through that salivary particles will mingled in atmosphere or directly directly fallen in our body that time the skin itself they are having in some minute holes the two holes will enter in our body otherwise hair itself that mingled means you are during the breathing time will enter that inside of our body so that time our body also will affect her will affect her and then symptoms persistent cough that means continuously they are having in cough cough na therilla irumbal continuous irumbal irukum and then blood mucus loss of weight breathing lessness loss of weight the tuberculosis the disease that persons affected means that persons weight half of the weight is suddenly will reduced and then breathing less that person is not breathing in actively that means natural persons how look will breathe like that is not breathing that affected person and then prevention measure treatment bcg vaccine so the tuberculosis against the using in prevent measure that is which vaccines they are utilizing means that is bcg that is a vaccine and next one cholera cholera is a main responsible of the cost to agent vibro cholera this also in bacteria the mode of transmission by flies and by contaminated food and water by fly that means what you know pujikal para pujikal namba solliya house fly the main responsibility in the house fly also see that flies in in case that that's a reason that whenever you eating or after eating you have to close and that open food containers that food containers always want to present in closed condition when you want to eat that time only want to open and take the food after want to close that's a reason and then wet diarrhea vomiting rapid dehydration vomiting sensation you feel that's a cholera and then what is the prevention measure then anti cholera vaccine and maintaining personal hygiene personal hygiene means what you have to keep neatness keep neatness hygienic food hygienic style a lifestyle want to change that and then common cold the common cold then cause to microorganism influenza that is a virus the mode of transmission through hair and symptoms running nose and sneezing running nose means the nose itself the released in salivary appo mooku oyugudal namba solran liya sali oyugine irukum nu solluvanga parunga adhu da and then isolation of passion what is that prevention isolation of passion and the patient thanimel irukum